However, before you buy this battle pack, there are a few things you need to own first. You need to own the Combat Mission Battle for Normandy game. You need to own the Combat Mission Battle for Normandy Commonwealth Forces, Market Garden, as well as the Vehicle Pack. However, before I tell you exactly what's in this battle pack, you do need to own a few things. Obviously, you need to own the Combat Mission Battle for Normandy base game. You do need to own the Commonwealth Forces, which are $34.99, Market Garden, which is $34.99, and the Vehicle Pack, which is $19.99. So in order to play this new battle pack, you need to have $90 worth of DLC. Combat Mission does go on sale fairly frequently, and I imagine it's going to be on sale at some time in the future. And you can pick all of this up fairly cheap. It's gone as deep as 50%. So don't let that deter you from picking this up, but you do need to own that content before you purchase this battle pack because you will not be able to play it. So I don't want to hype you up too much and then send you off and buy you without being uninformed. Okay. So the battle pack is going to run you $8.99 until the 13th, at which point the sale ends and it becomes $9.99. So you get eight standalone scenarios, three new campaigns, six master maps, which you can use to create your own scenarios. And then there's also some goodies and extras, some official uniform mods for added flavor for the U.S. formations involved and a coastline horizon for relevant maps. So that's pretty cool. This battle pack is going to cover some unique and unexplored territory that Combat Mission has never recreated before. They'll be executing daring night drops at St. Mary Dumont. Then you're going to lead the 2nd 8th Infantry Regiment and the 4th Infantry Division through the harrowing beach landing and beyond. Engage in key battles along the Breakthrough Corridor, shaping the course of history with every strategic decision. As the commander of the 17th SS Panzer Grenadier and remnants of the 6th FJR, you'll launch a desperate bid to reclaim the Caritan from the Allied control. This is an ahistorical campaign focused on strategy, adaptability. Can you unleash the full force of your troops in a desperate bid for victory? Fists of Iron is an absolutely huge German campaign where you'll launch a combined arms assault in an attempt to retake the Caritan. Purple Heart Lane is a medium-sized campaign for the U.S. forces. The 101st Airborne attempts to link with the Utah and Omaha beachheads via a town called the Caritan. And finally, we have We'll Start Here. This is the large U.S. campaign. From air and sea, the U.S. Army comes ashore in Normandy on D-Day. These are massive campaigns and massive battles you will be fighting through. Now it's time for my first impressions of Battle Pack 2 and an overall review. So, the battle you're currently watching is called The Corner. U.S. paratroopers and light armor tried to take the crossroads south of saint com du -Mont. So what I'm really basing this first impressions on is whether or not it gives me that nostalgic feel. Um, something similar to Medal of Honor or Saving Private Ryan. Because the Battle of D-Day is it's really big. It's always at the forefront of World War II or the American population in general. So when I play these um, games that cover D-Day, I, I really look for that nostalgic feel, especially from my youth, like playing war games. And so does Combat Mission Battle for Normandy kind of recreate that? I would say yes and no. Yes, I mean, it's really like you always want to dive into the beaches of Normandy and really have that really strong allied presence of the U.S. forces just charging across France and eventually like into Germany. And Combat Mission really recreates that feel, whether it's um, the other DLCs or whether it's this new battle pack. The battle packs obviously have a ton of content. I mean, this one has a steep upfront cost if you don't have the other DLCs, which is kind of a bummer and kind of brings me down a little bit. You're going to have a ton of fun with this. I'm enjoying my time with it. I'm looking forward to playing it on stream and all of those things. Overall, the content's fun. This battle's called The Corner, and you're the 101st Airborne. Um, you have a couple of squads and platoons with you and some tanks, and you just launch this massive attack um, to seize the corner of South St. Dumont. And it really creates that allied feeling of where your presence kind of overwhelms the German forces or the German occupying force, the Germans. So... Yeah, $8.99, my first impressions, it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's something to come back to. The battles are really long. There's um, different sizes. And it really looks like they added content for new players as well as um, um, older players or more people more experienced, seasoned. One thing that's a bit um, of a bummer is in the last um, DLC, they added like some easier campaigns. They stepped away from that, so it's not so new player friendly in this one. So you generally just have your one campaign, which is going to be your regular campaign and the previous DLCs, or I don't know if it was a battle pack, but they had like an easier campaign where it was, you get more resupply and things like that. 
that's something they've stepped away from in this battle pack. I don't know why, if it was different like scenario creators or whatnot. But um, I would like to see them step back the other direction and have those easier campaigns because they allow you to play through the game and get that joy of winning. But maybe the campaigns are a lot easier because they're allied. I'm really interested in playing the German campaign to see how ahistorical it feels. So let's move on to the negatives. It's more combat mission with a massive upfront cost. So it's not so much for newcomers. So if you pick up combat mission on sale, you're not going to dive directly into this D-Day battle pack, which I think is a major, major misstep by the developer. I mean, maybe they have data on their end that shows that a lot of people own the DLCs, but I feel like you're kind of gating off a major revenue stream that could bring new players in because D-Day, especially for a lot of my viewers are American, um, are going to want to play D-Day. And I really feel like they should have marketed it more towards D-Day, but their marketing for the battle packs is a bit weird and in combat mission games is a bit weird in general. They kind of have like a tell other people about it. So regardless, with all of that out of the way and the steep upfront cost of $90 plus the base game, which is $60, you're looking at $150 plus the $9 DLC. So $160 if you want to play this. Obviously, you can pick them up on sale. You can buy if you already own the DLCs and it's only a $9 upfront cost. But I do believe in being very forward with my community or with my viewers that this is going to be a steep cost for what should be, in my opinion, um, very accessible and like something people are going to pick up and play because they're going to want to play D-Day. So I don't know why they'd wall it off to an $160 purchase. So the positives are obviously the amount of content. I mean, you get so much content in these battle packs and they're generally relatively cheap. They're like $8.99, $9.99. You get three new campaigns, one a historical. So you get to at least play the German side um and just retake the carrot tan so that's going to be a lot of fun to explore and create videos on at the end of the day um it's more combat mission people want more combat mission there's a ton of combat mission games out there and people want more content for those combat mission games i know i've said combat mission like seven times but it's just what people want and the developers themselves have said the game grows it continues to grow and not having a it taking 10 years to make like a d-day module is kind of strange to me so hopefully we can kind of get some more development going and cover more fun fronts. But, and I hope we kind of break away from this weird, like taking way too long to give players what they want. So at the end of the day, it is more combat mission. The battles are great. They're simulated really well. Um, I mean, nothing gameplay wise really changes. They add four. There's more fortifications for you to blow up. There's tons of maps, it's like six new maps for you to edit. And there's all kinds of PVP and PVE elements for you to explore. Now, my final thoughts on the product, um, you should pick it up. I mean, you should buy it if you have all the DLCs. If you want to play D-Day and you only have a few of the DLCs, then you need to make that informed decision on whether or not you want to drop $30 on a DLC or $20 on a vehicle pack. So I'm glad they're putting the vehicle pack to use. Um, if it's only $9.99 for you, then yes, pick it up. If it's $150 for you or $90 for you, then I would be hesitant unless you have this really thirst to play combat mission d-day so at the end of the day i mean just be an informed consumer if you share the videos on the channel it's a fun combat mission game um, it allows you to play all kinds of content and check it out if that's something you're really really